hey guys welcome back to the channel few days ago i made a video about this iphone 6s plus that was eating up and it was having shots okay and there was a particular ic that was eating up there so i want to show you the ic and for those that did not watch the video this was how it went down take a look at the preview uh shorted component is gonna melt off and it's gonna turn black okay pay attention you see that you see that so as you can see this ic right here is the problem of this pc if you can replace that ic i'm very very 110 percent sure that this pcb would come up but if it doesn't switch on you need to continue your troubleshooting hold up hold up hold up hold up i said i was 110 percent sure that this ice was a problem all right and today we are going to be proving that if it's really that icy or not so now i've gotten a donor board and this is iphone 6s and i discovered that they both share the same icy the icy that was eating up on this iphone 6s plus okay so we are going to be finding that we are going to be finding out together if it's really that I see or not so before i proceed i want to show you guys that it's still the same pcb that we worked on few days ago so now let's check if the pcb is still having short or not okay guys let's go plug into my dc power supplies let's check the reaction on the screen and it's consuming auto amps as of three days ago so now i grab my multimeter to do further troubleshooting okay to be sure of what i said so even though when you are sure a particular ic is having a fault or is the problem there is a need for you to use your multimeter to continue the troubleshooting and also your schematic diagram which i'm going to be using in this video and you guys are going to learn a lot of things so please don't skip the video and watch to the end putting my multimeter on diode mode i'm going to take readings on the capacitor around that ic that was eating up okay and the first capacitor is shutting okay let's read the second capacitor the second capacitor it's also shorting right there okay as you can see now one more capacitor let's take a reading and this capacitor is also shorting yes it's also shorting from both sides okay now we have multiple components that are shorting okay sometimes when we have multiple components that are short it means it's the ic and sometimes it means it is not because if we have several components on the same line then one of those components might be shorting the ic okay so now let's take a look at all the capacitors that are shorting this one is shorted this one is shorted okay these two capacitors were shorted and the one on top right there is also shorting okay so now i'm going to click one side of the capacitor to see all the attached components okay and as, as you can see all the green lines you are seeing on my schematic diagram so you can see this is the pp vcc main line pp vcc main line okay so all the pp vcc main lines are shorted now we are going to apart from these three capacitors that are shorting down here and more okay four capacitors that are shorting let's look at the upper side of the board because you remember i told you the upper side was also eating up if you watch the video properly so on the upper side of the board we have ICs, we have capacitors, but there are these two capacitors up here that are looking suspicious to me, okay, after I've done my physical uh, uh, inspection on the PCB. So these two capacitors right here were looking suspicious and they are attached to this RF chip right here. So, and they are connected to the RF chip. Now, let me spray my rosin flux on those two capacitors right there. First, let me show you the two capacitors that I saw right up here okay i've already sprayed the rosin floss and they melted so i want to show you guys so that we can continue the troubleshooting together okay so sp uh, spray my rosin flux on those two capacitors and i'm going to be injecting voltage and i want you to see the reaction of those capacitors so it is important before you go ahead to remove a particular ic on a pcb it is very very important that you check the components that are attached to that uh i see all right so that you'll be very sure do you understand what i'm saying so when you when you start with those components that capacitor or diode it makes the job very easy for you okay so we are going to be injecting voltage on this uh one of the shorted parts uh, one of the shorted components of this pcb okay and i'm going to be point i'm going to be uh using a capacitor okay so pay attention at the reaction of those two capacitors right there you see how they melted you see how they melted so 
since the capacitor melted that means this capacitor needs to be checked first before we go to the ic okay it is very important that you take note of this that's why i'm asking you to watch this part two it is very important for those that watch part one to watch part two and if you have not watched part one video and you are watching part two video it is very very important that you go watch it okay so even though you are 150 or 200 percent sure that an ic is the problem check the components that are attached to it first before you work on the ic and i've popped out those two capacitors right there let's us now use our multimeter on diode mode to take readings okay if the components are still shorting okay if that line the ppvcc main line is still shorting or the short is gone okay so the reason i say you should uh, remove the capacitor is that it's very easy to remove a capacitor and put it back but an ic takes a lot of work all right just pay attention let's take a reading on that same pp vcc main line if it's still shorting or not and the short is gone the short is gone guys this is a great lesson for us 0 0.3 voltage drop the short is gone now let's take it to our dc power supply and see if the short is really gone or not okay just to verify after connecting my dc power supply you can see there is no more consumption that means those two capacitors were really really the problem and it is not the ic that's the proper way to troubleshoot guys so it's important that we know all these steps before we take our decision it's important that we verify accurately and properly before we remove any ic all right guys so now i'm putting the pcb into the casing and i'm going without the screen i'm going to press the power button and see if the phone would power on okay i'm going to i'm powering on the phone right now i'm powering on the phone right now and i'm going to show you the dc reading that the phone is already powering on as you can see you can see okay you see the fluctuating you see how it's fluctuating so that means this phone is powering on already guys make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for more amazing tips and tricks now let's connect the lcd and let's see if it's going to display or not okay so it is very important that we check that as well if you have not liked this video please make sure you hit the like button and subscribe for more amazing tips and tricks so i've powered on the phone but the screen is not showing the screen is not showing guys but the dc power supply is showing that the phone is powered on all right let's get another screen all right and the technician that brought this phone has given me has brought another screen to my shop because i called him that i need a screen all right i don't have a screen at this time so now let's power on the phone again fingers crossed oh and the phone is working guys the phone is working hit the like button for this ladies and gentlemen this amazing way to troubleshoot you take your troubleshooting one step at a time even without the thermal camera you can still work on a dead phone and it will come back to life if you follow all these simple principles okay so now the phone has fully booted and and the technician is right here with me the technician that brought this phone to me so he's going to be pressing the password because i don't have the password to the phone okay so that's him all right is also so very very happy with this job guys thank you for watching my video see you in the next video peace